in the star. Kalonzo used VP position to get 200 acre land. That's according to Governor Mutua. And finally, Business Daily. More pain for taxpayers as debt payment hits 619 billion. So that's basically what we have on the dailies, but let's look at them one at a time. And we'll start off, as usual, with the uh, standard, why you should expect fewer A's in KCAC and KCP. And I must say that this year, the exams, of course, have been a major point of focus, with mm -hmm. the CS literally taking the bull by the horn mm -hmm. and um, going to the ground and ensuring that things are implemented as it is required. Well, one would say that Dr. Matiangi is actually among the few public servants who really understand the job description, who knows that uh, the public is about uh, service, and uh, it's done very well. And it's a confirmation that, in fact, a public servant dedicated to his work can uh, kill and uh, break down the corruption cartels. Because mm. in the past, the Ministry of Education, and especially the examinations are part of it, has been uh, invaded by cartels. Mm. And you recall a long time ago, when you do your fourth form exam, getting an A was a tall order. That, uh, if you get an A, you become a, a landmark in the village, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody wants to come and have a conversation with you. But you know, today getting an A means uh, really nothing. And the majority of, even of uh, people with A are not able to speak good English. They don't even understand uh, the basics. Mm. And one hopes that uh, Dr. Matiangi, after sorting out the examination aspect of the education in Kenya, he'll actually go to the universities. Because even today, you've got uh, graduates of uh, somebody has got a bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the application letter, when they're looking for jobs, you look at the application letter, you begin to wonder whether they actually attended their programs in English. And the same to masters, even uh, PhDs. We are told today that um, if you want to get a master's and a PhD in a space of uh, four years, you don't need to attend class. And one hopes that uh, Dr. Matiang is going to focus in that particular space so that we retain our credibility in the education sector. Yes, initially I remember he said there was a lot of controversy and he was uh, criticized a lot uh, for trying to literally come down too hard, but it looks like uh, eventually it is paying off. Well, it's been a success. And the last couple of days, uh, you would see that Dr. Matiang wakes up early in the morning. Uh, it's at uh, 6 o'clock. He's in some place. You in actually Chacos. don't even know where you'll find he's him. He's in Kisi. <laughs> yeah. And really, that's a good uh, dedication. And probably the president needs to take note on that and give him a special recognition. But more important than that, for other public servants to emulate uh, Dr. Matiangi, that when you're given a public position, you don't use it as a factor of production, that you want to use it to make money, but you know to deliver service to the nation. And also uh, not uh, using it as a point of excuse and saying, mm -hmm. well, I don't have the power to do A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. Literally use what you have and do what you have to do. Yeah, but again, you know, Dr. Matiangi doesn't take the credit alone. Mm -hmm. There is his uh, colleagues, the Minister for Interior, who gave him uh, security, and uh, Mr. Joe Michel, the ICT Cabinet Secretary, and really an entire system. Actually, what Dr. Matiangi did was to offer leadership. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, you can't give him credit alone. Mm -hmm. There are so many people that you will never get to know who really ensured that the nuts and bolts were working and they need, uh, they need credits as well. 